Good morning, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Paris Air Show. This is day two, and we are here at the most beautiful taxi we are seeing behind. With the world would love to see, and we also in India would love to see and travel and miss all those huge and long lines. We are here with Whisk, which is a Boeing company, and we have with us Brian Yutko, who is the CEO. And Brian, welcome to Edu's chat room. Wonderful to have you here. What a beautiful bird you have behind you. Thanks. So tell us a little more about it. Well, thanks. I'm I'm Brian Yutko. I'm the CEO of Whisk Aero, and we are uh, a, a Boeing company. And I will say, I was just in Delhi myself, actually, a couple of weeks ago, and I can guarantee you that having one of these airplanes in Delhi uh, would have made my travels a little bit faster than what I experienced in the uh, the really fun uh, environment of driving around around Delhi. So, um, what you see behind us is the Gen 6 airplane. This aircraft is uh, is a battery electric autonomous aircraft that carries four people and flies up to about 160 kilometers. And this aircraft is intended to operate in and around cities that are congested, a lot like Delhi. And the fun thing about this airplane is that it's battery electric, so that means that we can operate the airplane with zero emissions, zero source emissions. Um, so we, we're not adding to local air quality issues. Um, and also, it's operated autonomously. Uh, and we're able to provide very high levels of safety and scalability by having an autonomous aircraft. And what is the status of the regulatory uh, framework for it at the moment? Yes, yeah, so the interesting thing is in the United States right now, there is a pathway uh, to be able to certify these airplanes for the first time. So the regulatory pathway is to type certify the airplane to achieve operational approvals using waivers and exemptions against the existing rule sets, and then ultimately to, to qualify the operators that will oversee the operations from the ground of these aircraft. And uh, how much air time normally? So how far can we expect it to go? How many miles in one go? Yeah, so these, these airplanes carry four people, generally up to about 160 kilometers at the maximum range. Um, so think about missions that are less than an hour of flight time, certainly. And um, what's really interesting, though, is if you look at a city like Delhi, as an example, there are tremendous uh, opportunities to reduce time uh, by flying an aircraft, even on very short missions. So think 20 to 50 kilometers of flight time, or of flight distance, rather. Uh, the kind of time that you could save people versus sitting in traffic can be tremendous during certain times of the day. So we think that that's what's really interesting is sort of liberating people from, uh, from time sitting in traffic and providing another mode for people to be able to travel around congested areas and doing that with very high levels of safety and doing that with battery electric airplanes which provide zero source emissions. And when can we expect the certification to come through? So we haven't announced a specific certification date for this airplane, although what we have said is that we intend to certify the airplane this decade, um, and so we'll look forward to operating it in locations around the world starting this decade. Okay, and uh, in America, do you already have some set clients which you feel are going to be your regulars and are just waiting for the certification to happen? We think many people with different backgrounds are going to be interested in using the service. So we do, uh, we do work with, um, you know, we do consumer surveys and we bring people through our labs to understand how they want to interact with machines like this. And so we have a pretty deep understanding of who we think the initial users of this airplane service will be. And it covers a broad swath of, uh, of potential consumer types. Um, so initially we will be the operator, so we, we won't sell these airplanes uh, to others. We will actually uh, certify and then operate the airplanes. And, um, and so we'll be doing that directly with consumers that can book it. All right. And uh, what about the ground support for this aircraft? Uh, since it's, uh, you don't have anybody flying it, you don't have a pilot. So just tell us a little more about the technical support. Yeah. So there is no pilot on board, as you said, but there is an offboard supervisor. So a human on the ground that supervises the system. And that person 
uh, does not have a joystick, so they do not fly the airplane. They have a keyboard and a mouse, and they can provide very limited input to the airplane, but they are there to provide support and, um, and ultimately to talk to air traffic control and to do some other functions, which cannot be automated yet. So, uh, so that's the role of that person, and there's a qualification set that will uh, be created that will qualify that person to be able to fulfill that job. And because this is running on artificial intelligence, so everything which has gone into making it intelligent is has been made by you or you have a huge supply chain for that? We build all of the software and the associated systems on this airplane. Um, we generally do not use machine learning and artificial intelligence on these uh, systems. We generally use other methods that are more certifiable than uh, machine learning today in today's uh, aviation regulations. Um, that doesn't mean that we can't end up with a similar level of intelligence from what you can see uh, is possible by machine learning and some of the systems today, but we do it with other methods that are, uh, that are very certifiable today. All right, and by when can we expect it to fly in the air? We haven't announced uh, when these airplanes will specifically start their flight test program, the Gen 6 uh, program. Uh, we currently fly the Gen 5 aircraft daily uh, in, in, uh, in our California test site. Uh, but Gen 6, when the first flight is, you'll have to stand by. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks. Wonderful speaking with you. And I'm very sure that next, when we meet at the next air show, you'll have more to tell us about it. Thanks a ton. Thanks.